Hello, I'm Dr. David Hawkins. I am a licensed clinical psychologist and I'm the director of the Marriage Recovery Center just outside of Seattle, Washington. I have done a lot of work on the issue of codependency. In fact, I wrote a best-selling book, When Pleasing Others is Hurting You. And in that book, I talk a lot about codependency and the main theme I want to give to you and have you think about is that codependency is first and foremost a loss of a relationship with the self or ourself. Now, I'm not going to go into a bunch of new age language here, but rather very practical language. And the practical language that I want to convey is that we have got to have a healthy relationship with ourself, first and foremost. And if we don't have a good relationship with ourself, then we're not going to have a healthy relationship with others. Let's take, for example, me and my relationship with myself. Well, when I'm not taking good care of myself, my own person, then it's very unlikely that I'm going to be able to take very good care of my wife or others in my life. When I take good care of me, and I don't mean that to the exclusion of others, I just mean when I'm sensitive to my health, my well-being, my spiritual life, when I tend to myself, when I care for myself, when I set good boundaries, then I'm able to really effectively care for others. In fact, I want to care for others. I love them. I want to love them, and I want to love them well. If on the other side of the coin, I'm not taking care of myself, I'm not sleeping well, I'm working too hard, I'm not eating properly, I'm not getting enough rest, if I don't take care of myself, my person, then I'm going to be in bad shape. And if I'm in bad shape emotionally, physically, spiritually, I'm going to be very bad company for others. So you see, it's really critical that you think about who are you? Where do you feel the best? Where are you able to be the most authentic? With whom are you able to be the most authentic? As you think about your values, and if you are living within those values, if your life is consistent with your core values and you're living in a very healthy way according to those values that you have, then you're going to be in good shape to care and tend for, to other people and for other people. So take some time today and just think about what is my relationship to myself like? Push away the thoughts about other people for just a short period of time and think about, am I healthy? Am I caring for myself? Am I getting enough sleep? Am I, am I getting enough rest and relaxation? Am I tending to my spiritual values and, and going to my, my place of worship? And do I have a good, solid, healthy relationship with God? And so how is that aspect of your life going? How am I feeling in my primary relationships? Are they healthy? So as you tend to those values and nurture yourself well, you're going to be better in relationship to others and the issues of codependency will dissipate. You won't be someone who's boundaries are easily dissolved. You won't be someone who is tired and emotionally exhausted. You care for yourself and you care for yourself well. All right. I hope that has given you something to think about. So codependency is the loss of a relationship to oneself. And as you recover and rediscover your best self, codependency is going to dissipate and you're going to live a healthy and happy life. I'm Dr. David Hawkins, and you can contact me at drdavid at marriagerecoverycenter.com. Visit my website, marriagerecoverycenter.com. I look forward to talking to you and working with you and sharing more thoughts about codependency.